I want to welcome everyone. I'm Ronna Huckabee. I'm the Chief Service Officer here at Catholic Charities Fort Worth. And on behalf of our entire organization, I'd like to welcome you to our Stay the Course graduation ceremony. To the students and their families, TCC and all of our supporters, thank you so much for joining us for this evening. This is an incredible accomplishment, and if you ask most of the staff, this is our favorite event every year. So tonight, we're gonna to be celebrating nearly 100 students who have per persevered through all kinds of battles, not one, not two, but maybe three years of challenging and unprecedented times. Many have completed their two-year degree, meaning they started and ended during the global pandemic. But these students are fighters and they have worked so hard along and beside our incredible staff who believed in them. So let's give them a round of applause for their hard work. Well, and before we get started, I'm going to ask a very special Stay the Course supporter to open us up in prayer this evening. Brita Shelton has been on our board and a dedicated CCFW supporter and ambassador since 2012. She was here at the very beginning of our Stay the Course plans. And so now we would like to have her, since she's such an asset, to join us. And so join me in welcoming Brita Shelton. Good evening, everyone. Let us take a moment now to place ourselves in God's presence. Heavenly Father, surround those who have graduated with your grace. Bless them with hope so that they move into the future with eager and open hearts. Help them to put the knowledge, skills, and insights gained through their education for the good of all of humankind. Inspire them to believe in the goodness of life, even when faced with challenges and difficulties. As they commence with their lives, may they grow even more grateful and wise. May our, gra may our graduates, surrounded by family, friends, and members of Catholic Charities Fort Worth, stay the course program members, know that they are truly cherished and be assured of our community's continued prayers for them. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brita. Truly, I could not have asked for a better prayer. As we begin our time together, I want to spend a few moments just sharing with you why Catholic Charities Fort Worth started Say the Course program. Our goal has always been to end poverty one family at a time. And we know that the key of moving people out of poverty is securing a job that pays a living wage. And to get that job, you often need a degree or a certificate. The programs on our education pathway, like our Stay the Course program, are designed to help students from all walks of life navigate non academic barriers to complete educational goals and increase their earnings. Community colleges like Tarrant County College are amazing places for students to accomplish these goals. They're affordable, they're close to home, and they offer such great education opportunities. But we also know that so many students that start community college never finish. So, in conjunction with the University of Notre Dame, we created Stay the Course. It was a program that would pair a student with a navigator to really help navigate the waters, the institutional barriers, and then just those life barriers to help them anything, to prevent anything that was going to keep them from completing their degree and graduating. So we know that all of the extensive work that we've done through the research is that there's not just a one-size-fits-all. 
So we have worked to overcome hurdles that life throws at so many of us. In the 10 years since we started Stay the Course, we've had the honor of serving more than 1,760 students, almost 1,800 students. And just like you, it's our sincere hope that we're able to serve even more. We are here at a remarkable night. This marks our 10th anniversary. 10 years ago, we started Stay the Course. I've been at Catholic Charities for 10 years. I've been in the nonprofit world for about 35 years. I love all the programs that we do at Catholic Charities, but Stay the Course is very special to me. It has a special meaning. I know firsthand how obtaining education can change your life. When I first started my college journey, I was on the path to a degree in nursing. I was so excited, I'd always wanted to be a nurse. But during that time, I found myself in a relationship that was abusive. Life took a different turn, but with some grit and determination, and the grace of God, a loving family and amazing friends, I was able to find a new path and really turn my life going a different direction. But then when I got ready to finish my degree, I just had a few credits left in nursing, it just, my heart wasn't in it anymore. And so I decided I needed to help others. I wanted to say yes, as people had helped me by saying yes. So I went to the University of North Texas. I got a bachelor's in counseling, and then I was able to get my master's in counseling. And those opportunities in education led me to my career that led me to Catholic Charities and to be able to be part of Stay the Course. So there are all from tough, tough times in life. I'm sure many of you students have also felt some insurmountable barriers. But I also know that you probably had the grit and the determination. You took a step of faith as well to be here today. And I imagine that some way along the way you had some doubts. A lot of times it's self-doubts. But you made it through. And it's been our honor and our privilege to walk alongside each of you every step of the way. In just a moment, Dr. Michael DuPont, he's the Vice President of Student Affairs at Tarrant County College Southeast Campus, is gonna come up and offer his congratulations as well. But first, our State of the Course navigators and staff have a few comments and the remarks of their own that they would like to share. Cue the video. Hello, I'm Father Anthony Chandler, President and CEO of Catholic Charities here in Fort Worth. I want to extend to all of our graduates our faithful and heartfelt congratulations as you come to graduate after all of your wonderful work. And it is, of course, for us a great day of joy as, you, as we come to see you graduate and after all of your hard work. So we want to wish you all the best and please know of our prayers and our concern for you always. Congratulations, graduates, on a job well done. You did it. You stayed the course and made it to the finish line. And I know some of you might be tempted to stress or worry about what lies ahead. Don't worry about that. Those things will work themselves out. Today's the day to stay present in the moment, to celebrate all of your hard work and accomplishments. And I'm sure great things lies ahead for each and every one of you. I wish you all all the best in the next step in your life. Navigator Joseph. Congratulations, State of the Course graduates. I am so proud of you for what you've accomplished. I just have a few words of encouragement to keep doing what you're doing. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams and live the life you imagine. Remember to keep staying the course and take the chance that you will continue to do what you want you to do in your dreams. Congratulations to all the Stay the Course graduates. 
We are so proud of each and every one of you and honored to be part of your journey. Always remember the sky's the limit. So dream big and soar high. May all your dreams come true. Best of luck. Congrats to the course graduates. We're so happy for you. I just want to thank you for allowing us the opportunity to serve you. We're all proud of you and I just wish you the best in your futures and it will only get better from here. Graduates, today we honor you. You've persisted, completed, and succeeded in getting your TCC credential. Your navigators may have helped you, but it was you who did all the hard work. So we wish you Godspeed, blessings, and just great joy on your next journeys. Congratulations. Stay the course student graduates. My name is Michael Ilio and I'm the incoming president and CEO of Catholic Charities Fort Worth. I just want to say thank you and congratulations. Thank you for your persistence. Thank you for your dedication and your incredible hard work. We are so proud of you. Our prayers are with you and we wish you the absolute best with your future. Good evening, good evening. Thank you for clapping as I'm walking up. Uh, <laughs> I take it, I'll take it. I'm Mike DuPont, Vice President for Student Affairs at the Southeast Campus at Tarrant County College. And I just wanted to say a few words uh, to our graduates, but also to those of you here in the room. First of all, I wanna congratulate all of uh, the graduates also. I'm happy for you and thankful that you allow TCC and stay the course to be part of your journey. Uh, we are immensely proud of you and honored that you agree to celebrate and let, let us celebrate with you. I'm also grateful to stay the course, the program, for all the hard work that they're doing to support students and meeting educational and life goals. Their commitment to students in our community is outstanding. So, Thank you, State of Course, for being such a vital partner to TCC, and thank you, students, for be taking advantage of those opportunities. I won't take up too much of your time tonight. I just want to quickly share a few points that I hope will encourage you. You heard a lot of encouraging words uh, in the video presentation. But I will start with a quote, and I will end with a quote, and a little stuff in the middle. Uh, my quote that I'll start with is, your doubt does not always align with your ability. That's a quote by Trevor Noah. And I'll talk more about that in a little bit. But I first want to just highlight three uh, main points. One is that you are the author of your story. No one can tell your story like you can. You're living your story. You're the writer of the chapters. I wish you just a little, to share just a little bit of my story. Uh, I know Rana shared some of hers. And I want to share just a little bit of mine in a hope to, that it'll continue to uh, inspire you. I was born in another country and grew up speaking a different language. My family moved to the States when I was a teenager, and just a couple of years after we moved here, I had to quickly learn English, learn how to read and write, and, um, you know, did okay. I think now I can, you can understand me, right? <laughs> so, but um, my, my senior year, I had to figure out what I was gonna do next with my life. And so I met with my school guidance counselor to see about what, what my next steps might be. I wanted to go to college. I heard about college in America, so uh, I wanted to go to college. My counselor, this was in the 70s, so it's very different from today, but my counselor shared with me that my ACT and SAT scores were way too low, that I would not succeed in college. and I would drop out by my first semester. Um, that was her writing my story, right? And so my parents encouraged me, because we moved to the States for me to go to college. And so my parents said, listen, don't let that stop you. Move forward, right? So I found a college that was willing to accept my poor scores. And I will say, a lot of stuff in between, a lot of doubts, a lot of those things happen, but I earned my bachelor's degree in psychology. I earned a master's in counseling psychology and later earned a doctorate in psychology. So I wrote my story. I didn't let my counselor write my story. 
And I hope you do some of that same self-exploration. You know, people may come along and try to tell you what your life will be like or what you can and can't do. Just remember, you're the author of your story. The next thing is focus on your strengths. Life gets tough sometimes, and we heard that already. There are many hurdles along the way. And it's even human nature at times for us to think we can't do something, or this is too hard, or I can't afford college, or I can't take this time, right? What we don't focus on, though, is our strengths. So uh, I ask you to ask yourself, what brought you thus far? You know, what was your determination like? What are your support systems? What else can you, do you have that is a strength or a resource to you? I had to realize in my story that when I moved here, I had to learn English very fast. I realized I spoke German fluently and I spoke French. Surely I could learn English. I had already mastered two other languages. So, but quickly my doubts subsided and I just pressed forward. I also had people in my life, like my professors at the college of my four year, uh, my parents were tremendous supports. I didn't have a state of course program, but I've had a system like that. The church I attended, we had, we were assigned a family. That family adopted us and carried us through for uh, four years. In fact, I got free food on Sundays after church. And I just happened to get assigned to a family where the wife was an excellent, excellent cook. So we ate very, very well on Sundays. In fact, I didn't even need a meal plan for the weekend. Um, so thinking about the strengths and the resources that you have. And then my final point is the Trevor Noah quote, is your doubt does not align with your ability. When I heard Trevor share this nugget of wisdom uh, just a couple of months ago, it reminded me how it's human nature for doubt to creep in sometimes, right? And we self-doubt. And sometimes those self-doubts get in the way. We forget our abilities. We forget the skills that we have. And I would like to just encourage us that when those doubts creep in, again, you take a moment back, step back to kind of see where, where is that coming from? Kind of stay in the moment. And then looking again at your abilities. Because if you really, look at your abilities, you'll see your abilities and your doubts are not aligned. You are capable of doing something and you've done it before, right? You've graduated from high school or you've finished a program, you've finished college, so that four-year degree is just another step. Um, so, so those are the things I would like for you to consider. When I considered working on my doctorate, I had many doubts. Uh, I wondered if doubts ever enter into your mind. My doubts were like, can I write a dissertation? Oh my God, that's a lot of writing, right? But then I realized you wrote a thesis for your master's degree and a dissertation is just two more chapters, so to say. So I started realizing, okay, I did it once, I can do a little bit more. So keep that in mind when those doubts creep in and also realize, this is a psychologist in me, it's okay to be anxious or to worry but to also take a step back and then kind of think about those things that are your strengths, your skills, and, and things like that. So as I close, I just want to wish you all the best as you continue your journey. I would like to end with a quote. This one is by Winston Churchill, and it, it says this, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is courage to continue that counts. So please remember you are the author of your story, Focus on your strengths. Remember your doubts are not always aligned with your abilities. So I'm asking you to stay the course and author your story. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. DuPont. Incredible words of wisdom. Incredibly grateful for you and for your TCC peers that are here tonight. Um, to be a part of this journey with us. It truly is an honor to celebrate the accomplishments of the students that we both serve. Howdy, everybody. Good evening. My name is Michael Ilio, and I'm the incoming president and CEO of Catholic Charities Fort Worth. And tonight is my pleasure to introduce to you two amazing graduates. 
that will share their experiences working with our Stay the Course program. So first, I'd love for you to join me in a big, warm welcome to Selena Sari and Jeannie Lindsay. Let's give them a round of applause. So Selena, if you would please join me up here this evening. Selena is a proud graduate of our uh, Tarrant County um, a TCC Connect campus. And so, welcome, Selena. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Thank you for having me to deliver such an awesome speech. Usually, when people give speeches, that means that they have something important that needs to be heard by more than one person. One could almost argue that the person who speaks such pressure words tend to have statuses of some sort, like a leader in the community or a person who has achieved goals in life that are next to impossible. At least that's what I thought before being asked to speak to you all. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. When I was homeless, you opened your door. Sometimes my friends and I sang this song during exam time when we are stressed out. The lyrics remind me of Stay the Course because this program was a lifesaver for my family and my education. I don't know what I would have done without it. In my mother language, Chi, by the way, I'm from Ghana, West Africa. We say, Udini Wonamse. This means your reputation precedes you. The name, stay the course, definitely means what they do because they help me stay on my path to success. It is wonderful the way you lift people up to stand. You really lifted me and my families up. Since I started at TCC two years ago, I have faced a lot of challenges as a student, but stay the course helped me when I needed it so badly. Joining the program was the best decision I had ever made in my life. I said the call has not only touched my life, but my whole family as well. My navigator and I became a dynamic duo, working together so that I could stand before you today and say that I am moving on to a greener pasture with my education. I am one step closer to earning my BSN, and this would not have been possible had I not reached out for help. Had I not known about such an incredible and gracious opportunity bestowed upon people like me, people that come from working class backgrounds who need that extra push towards the finish line. In some ways, I did feel like the program's adopted child. I was taken care of, loved, and appreciated. For instance, my house was nearly put down in foreclosure when my husband lost his job and they rescued us from that situation. What is more, they purchased brand new tires for my van when transportation was a heck of a challenge to my family. What did I do to deserve this favor? Stay the course, thank you. Last but not the least, they took care of many of my utility bills, gave me a gift card for groceries, motivated me with advice, and showered with me and my family with love and care. And the list goes on and on and on. I have nothing to lose enrolling myself in a program with such values, only all the more to gain in the end. In the end, I came up on top. My GPA is in a good standing. I am transitioning from junior college to a four-year university, come fall. And my family and I are happy and healthy. My name is Salina Asari. I am one of the hundreds of people that stay the course has helped since its inception in 2013. Thank you, TCC. Thank you, Stay the Course. Thank you for the help you gave to many, the many which I am one. Thank you and keep it up. Once again, your reputation precedes you. Udine Mohonamse, thank you for, for listening to my speech today. Thank you.
Thank you, Selena. That was beautiful. We're so proud to have you a part of our family and uh, just so thankful for the opportunity to walk alongside you. It's been an incredible uh, educational journey and I look forward to uh, hearing more about your continued success as you transition to the four-year uh, university and, and all the success that you're going to have. Um, at this point, I would love to invite Jeannie to the stage. Um, we'd love to hear from, from her. She is a proud graduate of the TCC Trinity River Campus. Good evening, everyone. I think I'm a little short. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jeannie Lindsay, and I'm a recent Stay the Course graduate. Thank you for having me here tonight. Thank you for this opportunity to place public speaker on my resume. <laughs> I spent most of my childhood in foster care or children's homes. It was confusing and hard. At the time, I thought my high school education was all there was. At that, at that as soon as I walked out of high school, I was done. No one told me how important it would be to continue my education. No one seemed to care what my next steps were. When I aged out of foster care system, suddenly everything was my responsibility, and I was overwhelmed. I was asked when I would be moving out the day after my high school graduation. And because I had a job at a daycare center, I rented a room in a home near to it five days later. As a girl, it was required of me to take all of the homemaking classes in my high school offered. But I have learned many times since then that some things just can't be taught in a classroom. For example, I knew how to cook for a household of 16, but I not know how to cook for one person. <laughs> this produced a lot of leftovers that I had no idea how to deal with. <clears throat> I didn't know how to buy groceries, I didn't know how to make a doctor's appointment for myself. People around me kept telling me I should go to college, that it would be paid for since I was raised in foster care. That sounded interesting, but I didn't know who to get practical advice about it from. Finally, when I managed to reach someone and talk with them, I was told, I would have to take out a loan and pay it back while I was still in school. That confused me. When I tried to explain my situation to them, their response to me was, well, what makes you so special? That was disheartening. But I decided to continue and try to take a few classes here and there on my own and work at the same time. Of course, that was a disaster. I failed every class. After that, I was done. Until a few years ago when COVID hit. At the time, we were living in a house we had been renting for about eight years. The owner decided to sell and we were scrambling to try and get an apartment during the pandemic. No one would show us anything in person. We would make appointments for tours and we'd show up and no one would be there. The offices were closed. The phones went straight to voicemail. It was a terrible, terrible time, and we ended up not being able to find a place. We moved into a private home without kitchen privileges. It wasn't the best living situation. We had a coffee maker, a hot plate. Yes, they still make them. A rice maker and a small indoor grill. We stayed in this one little room for months and took frequent walks with the dog. I was bored out of my mind. I wasn't working and I just thought, okay, this can only go downhill from here if I don't do something about it. So I decided to go back to school. 
Apparently, something on my financial aid application was flagged for a stay-the-course introduction. I didn't know what to expect from the program, but I thought, okay, I'll, I'll see what this is. Any help is good help at the moment. My navigator, Joseph Douglas, is an unfailingly positive person. It's been really nice been, being able to check in with someone and give them a progress report every couple of weeks. For me, you know, I didn't need much. I know other students needed more help, but for me, just having his good morale and incredible support made all the difference in the world. And we did receive some tangible help. A very nice woman, whose name I don't remember, delivered us a food basket just before Thanksgiving 2021. And at that point, when we couldn't afford gas, they gave us a card to help fill our tank. I never wanted to d disappoint Joseph. He's always so happy. And it was amazing to see my own progress and have someone who was always super proud and supportive of me. When I was at Christ Haven, a children's home in Keller, no one ever talked to me about career goals. So I just had to kind of figure that out for myself. Having someone like Joseph check in with me and have those conversations with has been really different. When I was in high school, I worked in the high school library. I always thought that was the best job I ever had. So when I found out that TCC is only one of 20 or so schools in the nation to offer an associate degree in library technology, I had to go for it. And with Stay the Course's help, I did. The spring, I graduated with my associates in applied science and library technology. I am starting at Texas Wesleyan University in the fall to obtain my bachelor's degree in history with a teaching certificate. My goal is to eventually work at a teaching museum and ultimately earn a master's. If I hadn't had stay the course to help me through it would have been tough. It wouldn't have been as easy to keep my head up during the tough subjects and times in my life. And Joseph, he was the first person who kept the focus solely on me. You know, at first I didn't know him that well, but he was my biggest supporter right from the very beginning. And everyone at Stay the Course was. There's a sense of camaraderie about the program. I'd see those bright purple shirts in the hallway and everyone always said hi and waved to me every time. And that's also made a huge difference. Thank you, Joseph Douglas. Thank you to my wife and thank you to stay the course. <clears throat> Public speaking, check. <laughs> Thank you, Jeannie, very much. We are honored that you, again, shared your story and chose to walk with us, allow us to walk alongside you in that education journey. And um, you just know that you're going to have a tremendous amount of success as you get your four-year degree. And just so proud of you. Thank you very much. So one last time, let's give Selena and let's give Jeannie another round of applause. Thank you again both very much for sharing your journey and your stories with us. Um, you know, perseverance, uh, when you hear it from, in, like Rana said, I love this event. It's just so great because when you hear it from the students, when you see it in their eyes just twinkling, it's, uh, it's moving. It's just so incredibly powerful. And so I'm just really proud that we can all be here and that you're joining us here today um, to be a part of this wonderful event. So without further ado, we are going to now open it up and we're going to begin an, um, our award ceremony. So I would like to ask our Stay the Course program manager, Shannon Leonard, to please come on up and conduct our award ceremony this evening. 
Shannon, I will turn it over to you to begin the celebration. Thank you, Michael. Congratulations. I want to say students, but you're no longer students. You have stayed the course to complete. So my name is Shannon Leonard. As Michael stated, I have the honor of serving as the program manager for the Stay the Course program here at Catholic Charities Fort Worth. I'm honored to present each of you being recognized here tonight with a plaque in recognition of your hard work and persistence. We are gonna do things just a little bit differently this year. We're gonna distribute our plaques in order of campus. Um, so will all the navigators from across all six TCC campuses please join us at the front. I'm gonna to try to name them. I don't have my glasses on. We have Kay Carroll. We have Natalia Gonzalez, Lindsay Gilbert, Joseph Douglas, Amari Warden, Crystal Fierro, um, Melissa, Melissa, and <laughs> we have Saintia, Saintia, and we have some other navigators in the house. Uh, I guess maybe, okay, here we go, Celeste. Come on up, Celeste Garcia. Very good. All righty. So here we go. So um, we're going to go in alphabetical order by campus, um, not by student. So we're going to start with the TCC Connect campus. Please hold your applause until we've made it all the way through the campuses. So when I call your name, please come forward, receive your plaque from your navigator, and then please take a picture with Rana and Michael. Uh, Jacqueline Anderson. Is Jacqueline Anderson here? Congratulations. And we have Veronica Hernandez. Very good. And then we'll move along to the TCC Northeast Campus. Selena Asayer, Asayer, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Very good. And then we have Alba Disabela. I hope I said that right. Chandra Hudson, would you make your way to the front, please? Very good. And next, after Chandra, we have Cassandra Leone. And then after Cassandra, Thank you. We're going to move along to the TCC Northwest Campus. He's going to be in Stay the Course one day. <laughs> um, TCC Northwest, Lee Hambry. Clyde Smith. Angelina Soriano. And after Angelina, we have Michaela Turner. Ela Valdiva. Very good. And then we'll move along to the TCC South Campus. <laughs> no, no competition at all. Did Thomas, is Thomas available? Thomas Garcia. Amy Jones, could you make your way up after Thomas, please? Up next is TCC Southeast, Archie Ferdinand.
Very good. After Archie, we have Maria Medina. Congratulations. Yes, sir. And after Maria, we will begin with the certainly last but not least, the TCC Trinity River Campus. <laughs> Emily Everson. Emily Everson. Peace, JJ. Peace. Jeannie Lindsay. Very good. Yes, Jeannie. Sandra Moses. Very good. We have lots of photographers. <laughs> Paparazzi are here. So after Sandra, we have Grace Cadilla. Is Grace here? And do we have any other graduates that are not on my list but have joined us this evening? Very good. Randy Williams? Is Randy Williams in the house? Brandy? Maybe she stepped out to the lobby. All righty, so these are our 2023 graduates. Let's give them a round of applause. Before I hand it back over to Michael, um, we have um, a lovely uh, gesture or of our appreciation for Dr. DuPont for speaking today. So we'd like to ask Dr. DuPont to come back up to join us. Thank you so much, Dr. DuPont. Dr. DuPont is retiring, and so we're going to miss him tremendously, but thank you so much for your support. Because it is our 10th anniversary, I want to take one moment to recognize any former students that we have joining us today. So if you're joining us tonight as a former graduate of Stay the Course, would you please stand, and we will honor you with a round of applause. This is Kay Carroll, she is our navigator. She was a state of course client. And then we have Lisa, I don't know your last name, Lisa. Lisa Wilkes, Wilkie, also graduated from the uh, TCC Northwest campus, went on to go to UNT. And y'all, I have to tell this story. She, when she graduated from UNT, she had stay the course engraved on her class ring. And she's wearing it today. So we love Lisa. Thank you again. I'll turn it back over to Michael. Thank you very much, Shannon. And congratulations again to the graduates. Before we end tonight, I want to take a moment to thank those who have been especially instrumental in the lives of our students as well as making TCC, uh, excuse me, uh, stay the course possible. First, I'd like to give special recognition to the families and friends of the students that are here tonight. Family members and friends of the graduating students, if you would please stand and remain standing. Please remain standing. I would also like to ask that our Stay the Course navigators, our research and evaluation team, and all the other Catholic Charities Fort Worth staff who have helped to support, listen, encourage, challenge, and see these students through to the finish line, please stand. Graduates, take a look around at this incredible so support system that I don't need to tell you about. Um, they are here for you, and I know I can speak on their behalf just how proud they are, we are of you, and just again, congratulations to the graduates.
You all may be seated. Thank you. I'd also like to thank TCC and the TCC Foundation, to Chancellor Elva LeBlanc, to Dr. DuPont, and to everyone else here representing this amazing institution of higher learning. Right back over there, let's give them a big round of applause to the TCC staff. It's an incredible partnership that we have with them. I mean, it's so seamless. They are incredible champions for us, um, for our staff, and they just absolutely love their students. And it's a wonderful partnership and relationship that we have um, with TCC. So for the campus presidents and all the staff here, thank you so much for being a partner with us and helping us to help students realize their journey and stay that course. Thank you again. I'd also like to thank our sponsors, to Lou and Katie Kirking for the donating the plaques and the gifts that the students received tonight, to Antonio and Carla Castaneda, and to Anne Fluger for generously contributing towards tonight's amazing food and beverages, to Chris Schilling who helped us with the decor and tonight's fun, family-friendly experiences, and to Brita Shelton for helping us to make tonight so special. Thank you all very much. I would be remiss if I didn't take a moment to thank our donors, and many of you are in this room tonight. Your gifts and your belief in these students has been an integral part of their success. You have known and seen the value of education. It's creating better outcomes for those in our community. For that, we are deeply grateful. So thank you to our donors and the supporters of Catholic Charities and all the students that are here. And of course, I gotta end with the graduates, more clapping and celebration. So lastly, thank you to our graduates for enrolling in the Stay the Course program. Thank you for trusting in us and allowing our navigators to walk this journey alongside of you. And thank you for persisting and completing your education. Tonight, we celebrate you as you step out to the next phase of life, carrying the title of college graduate. Congratulations. Friends, although our ceremony has ended, please stick around and congratulate our incredible students. Um, maybe do some face painting, um, hang out with the kids. So, you know, seeing the sparkle in their eyes, this is the magnitude that um, you just, you can't measure. It's the, uh, the hope that's created and the knowledge that these kids now, their kids are gonna grow up and be able to have the opportunity to get that college degree. Please enjoy fellowship in food. And again, just thank you so much and have a blessed evening, everyone. Good night.